Hey, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Star Wars Squadrons. I'm going to play the rebel part now of the prologue. A couple of training missions. Let's see how it shapes up. Hey, almost forgot you were there. I have got to say the in-game graphics for Star Wars Squadrons are absolutely brilliant. I was impressed with the Empire missions, but the Rebel ships... God, they look something else. That call sounds desperate. Can anyone make out what he's saying? I really cannot wait to get back uh, into VR when my VR headset turns up, my new VR headset. So similar sort of thing as before. We've got to follow our flight leader around. And we're getting quite a bit of chatter as well. Old Admiral Akbar's popping up on the holographic display. Understood, sir. You know, look at those Neblon B frigates over there. Perfectly realised in Star Wars Squadrons. Absolutely fantastic. Gotta say it. You know, it is. It is cool. So, yeah, we're running a system check. We're powering up the engines, powering down the engines, looking at the shields, getting to grips with the X-wing, the T-65. Now, obviously, where this difference is, it's got shields. So, yeah, I'm just got to worry about the power management, which is going to be engines or lasers. Now you've got to worry about engines, lasers, and shields, right? And the shields are going to obviously stop you from meeting the big old baddie in the sky. So, again, systems check. Targeting people. Getting, to, getting the grips with power management. That's what it's all about. All while flying around, following Echo Leader... And trying not to crash into the rebel fleet. Double check shields. So there they are, they're zooming around. And the inside, the cockpit of that X Wing is perfectly realised. Perfectly realised. You know, I think they've done a fantastic job. Now, I'm not usually a fan of EA, has to be said. Um, there's no microtransactions, I think that's fantastic. Um, I'm with you. What else is there to say? Okay, All things you can get are earnable in-game. That's how down. games should be. For now we've got to go and meet up with a U-Wing, which is the support type craft in the game. Um, and you would have seen those in Rogue One. It's what Cassian Andor and uh, his droid Missiles were flying four. around in. Now they're going to drop off a resupply, and it's up to us to pick up the resupply. But you cannot, for whatever reason, catch that U-Wing. And picking up the resupply is going to be great. So we're going to take a look at that U-Wing, see if we can get really close to it. There it is. We're zooming, zooming away, and it's doing a really good job of staying well away from us. All right, you know, zooming around in the area. It's trying to get you to pick up that resupply that's outlined in green. That's what you've got to go and pick up, and that's going to get you to your missiles. But getting the feel of the cockpit is fantastic. You know, in VR, all I can say is it's going to be fantastic. And I don't know if anyone's going to puke in their helmet or not. I don't know. But for a Star Wars fanboy like me, a, st a good old Star Wars geek, right? This is absolutely brilliant. You know, dreams have come true. There you go. I mean, I thought Vader Immortal was really good. Uh, I certainly think this game's going to have a different uh, approach in regards to VR. But the way the X-Wing handles, the way you can do drifting when you power down your engines and drift to one side, again, is brilliant, you know? Once you've mastered how to drift, then, you know, it'll be really good in regards to multiplayer modes. So, there we go. I'm going to line up now to my missile resupply. There it is. We're going to fly directly at it. Enough messing around now in regards to this X-Wing. I've been resupplied. You can see it flashing on the dashboard. That's my missile indicator. I'm ready to progress. Now the good thing is, Echo 
is that we tend to see both sides of the story, from the Empire and then from the Rebellion. So, if you watch my previous video, which was the first prologue, you would have noticed that we've um, got ourselves into a position where the Empire has had a traitor and he's off to try and rescue some rebel transports. We as the Imperials were set off to destroy or capture those rebel transports. Now, here we are, we're the cavalry from the Rebellion side of things. And it's good to see two perspectives, two points of view. You know, and I, I like how this is playing out. So, you know, and it, it gives you the opportunity to be the bad guys and to see the Empire and how, you know, these pesky rebels uh, are really sort of like getting in their way at every opportunity. So we're flying off now to that hyperspace point, that reach point. We're going to get ourselves there and then we are going to engage the old hyperspace engines. And you've got that quintessential battered look of the inside of the of the, the rebel ships. They're not as clean and polished as, as the Imperials. The rebel ships, you know, they're hard working, you know, they're hot cockpits, meaning that you get pilots in and out of them all the time. You know, they really do sweat their technology. So we're nearly at the jump point. Here we go, we're in. That's it. S foils are closed. There's that pause. There you go, there's the jump. So cool. And here we are, there's the Star Destroyer. Now this I found a bit tricky. All power to engines, zoom towards the Star Destroyer. Right. Fill our boost meter. We're going to fly underneath it, approaching it from the rear, following Echo Leader. Right, there we are. We're all lined up. Hitting the boost. All the way through. Enemy get capped. I got capped. That's okay, I can retry from a checkpoint. Yeah, gloves are on. Lovely. So again, following Echo Leader. Over we go. Swing it back round. We got our boost. All power to engines. All that's charged up. Got our clog down. Here we go. Boost through the Imperial Blockade. Boost. On the PC, that's generally the space bar. We're through. I think we're through. Shield's taking a bit of a, a, bit, a bit of a pounding. And now, from this point of view, we've got to engage the ties. There's a steady stream of green, deathly laser fire coming from behind us. We are taking some hits. Still following Echo Leader. So we've broken through that Imperial blockade. Someone heard my distress call. I couldn't hold off those ties any longer. Who are you? So there's the Imperial traitor. If you'll take me, call me Linden. I'll explain later. Pilot, help me push these fighters back. Echo four. Right. Leave that quasar for now. Okay, so here's Imperial ships coming in. Now we better get rid of those ties. Fire missiles. Now we're using big use of our missiles here right. as well. I don't like relying only on missiles. I like, I like the, the combat. I like the dog fighting. Now with the X-wing as well, you've also got the option for your R2 unit, who's poked in the back, um, to fix your ship and any damage you can incur, which is good. So we're still out. Pop in Tie Fighters. Try not to crash into anything. They're on my tail. Good looking out. I couldn't let the Empire just And we also want to defend that convoy. In the name of security. So you told the Empire where to stick it? You could say that. So 
So here we go. Still shooting more TIE Fighters. Which is generally, you know, what it's all about. Shooting the enemy. This is a space flight simulator and, you know, a dog fighting simulator all in one. Just happens to be in the next wing. Or a TIE Fighter. So we're doing that right. We're not doing so badly. Could be going a bit better. Of course, they're also shooting back, which is also a bit of a... Okay, there we go. Trying to lead the TIE Fighters as they come into range. Picking on a, focusing on a target. And typically missing a hell of a lot. It's really difficult. Now I'm playing this on pilot difficulty. So it's not just, the, not the easiest difficulty. So it's, you know, I'm not veteran or ace, let's be fair. But, um, you know, it's not like shooting ducks in a barrel. Then again, neither was X-Wing. You know, X-Wing and X-Wing v TIE Fighter and the balance of power and X-Wing Alliance. Those weren't easy games either. And were generally playable with a mouse, unless you sprung for a Microsoft flight stick. Well, I'm playing this with a Satec X-52 flight control system. It's a hot ass. Uh, that I use for all my Elite Dangerous stuff as well. And it is handling pretty well. I do have to do a bit of work on the controls, mind you. I could see that other people are shooting. The enemy, and it's not all just down to me. So we're nearly through it. We nearly, de nearly destroyed all the Imperial fighters. There you are. They're done. Woohoo! So now it's back to following Echo Leader. And of course we've got that traitorous TIE fighter, Captain Javes. Right, moving on. Time to start taking down some of the bigger ships. Now, in VR, apparently it's not an interactive cockpit, which is a shame, because they have quite missed the trick there, really, haven't they? Um, there's no VR controllers. You've got to use your own controllers, which I think is typically a good thing. Um... Again, you know, destroying more Imperial fighters, that's great. So a swarm of ties have come out of that Star Destroyer, we've got to take them out. And protect the colony of refugees, rebel colony of refugees as well, and without getting shot. So that's pretty good. So we're, we're going to take all those out now. But back onto the cockpit and stuff. You know, it is nicely realised. I haven't looked at it through VR yet, because my Oculus hasn't turned up. I'm just getting my R2 unit to repair my hull, as you can see with uh, just where the shield rating is. I'm taking some more hits because my shields aren't balanced. There we go. And of course I'm still learning the power management and shield management. So we're still after more TIE Fighters, using the, the next target, also firing off missiles. Trying to use everything that we possibly can to just thin these, these TIE Fighters down so we can get on with the mission. Yeah, he's gone, great. And I quite like the idea, if you look at the green left-hand panel, where you can see it's targeting the ship, when you shoot a ship, you get the icon. Well, it looks like the icon of what you used to get in the old Atari Star Wars arcade game. I think it's really good. Now we've got to go after one of these Imperial Quasars. Now what an Imperial Quasar is, this big triangular ship that isn't a Star Destroyer. It's basically a flying hangar bay for Imperial ships, that's what it is. 
generally used in blockades. They show up, launch all their fighters, and their sheer mass then is then used as, as, as a blockade. So we've taken that out. Now we're following Echo Leader again. Now we're on some damn fool idistic crusade. Their old Captain James is on. There's the, there's the U Wing. Our support ship. Our fleet is turned up nicely. Wait. The Empire is sending in a raider to intercept the convoy. We have to take that raider down. Now we've got to go in and do a full frontal attack in a snub nose fighter, an X Wing, and attack part of a Star Destroyer. It's not going to end well, is it? Almost in range. So. The Mon Cal ships and our fleet have turned up and giving it a right handing. We've got a section to attack. There's one particular ship there. We're going to destroy that raider. It's not so bad. It's quite easy. Here, up. he's gone. No drowners. That gun's giving it a right smashing. Excellent explosions, and then it's on to attack the Star Destroyer. Echo, let's get that convoy to a safer location. Head to the far side of the MCA. So there's old Captain James. Let's follow him round. Refugee convoy, we're out of time. We've got to get you out of here. Refugee convoy to Rebel Alliance. We're ready for light speed jump. Wait. So our uh, ship's getting a right kick in. They can still find you. Corvette's being destroyed. It's no, Corvette! We can destroy the targeting system on the vigilance. We might throw them off the convoy's trail. Wait, you two are attacking the Star Destroyer? They're still following Captain Javes. This part of the game, I've noticed, a little bit slow. Could have been a little bit quicker. We've obviously incurred heavy damage on our X-Wing, but we've had it all repaired by our R2 unit. That's okay. Capital ships are being vaporized left and right. And now, here comes the tricky bit. Let's hope your fleet can keep those shields down. Follow him down, right through the, the storm of the guns. Our shields right absorbing here. the hits. We we've got to hit target. that little port there. That's the ability of the Star Destroyers to track the fleet. So we've given it a bit of tasting. I've put the anchors on. Swung around. And I've been destroyed yet again, everybody. Time to start from the checkpoint. The good thing about this game, there is a few checkpoints. Right, got our gloves on. Right, let's go. We know exactly where we're going. We're aiming directly for that. Now whether I've done something wrong or I don't know yet, I mean it's pointing at the part of which I'm, I'm headed for, which is good. But there's no way of selecting other points. So I'm giving it the lasers, they can't really shoot me that much. Our shields are down quite considerably. Hull at 53%, we've got the R2 unit on it. We've destroyed their tracking ability and now we're off to fly and get those hyperspace coordinates, thus marking the end of the mission. Well, all that, right, when you consider it's learning how to fly the X-Wing, the power management, and you, you really are sort of learning in anger, was about 19 minutes. And I'm exhausted. So here we go, we're going towards that one particular hyperspace point, and that's it. On to the next part of the mission. I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching me muddle through the Rebel Alliance prologue effectively see you soon